so I thought that I would make a gourmet masterpiece inspired by chefs and dogs. Am I gonna cook for you? Espy, look, I even went to the Asian store and I bought you a bowl to eat it in. Okay, so let's get everything out for you, Gatsby. Okay, everything that we're gonna use. Yeah. From the Instagram page, they use figs, quail eggs, ground beef, and ground chicken. In America, they don't really sell green tripe like at a butcher shop, they're not allowed to. We did get these venison green tripe like chips for doggies. Strawberries, organic vegetables, blueberries, dragon fruit, radishes, cucumber, and we'll use some organic herbs from our herb garden. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna steam and blanch some of these vegetables. This is ready. Some broccoli, cauliflower, and make sure to get the carrots too. Remember, whenever handling raw food, although it's okay for the doggies to eat raw food, it's not for humans. You can get sick, so you have to make sure that you do this in a healthy way. Gatsby is like, oh my gosh. We shall do some ground chicken as well. Just gonna mix it. It's like, oh my gosh, sir, it smells so yummy. Yeah, you're gonna get it. We're just gonna blanch them in some cold water. I didn't have any ice, so we're just blanching it in cold water and rinsing it out so it cools down. Mix. Yeah. This is what it looks like right now. It kind of looks like an ahi poke bowl or something, huh? That does look really nice. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. Do you remember eating a radish? It's got the fig. Dragon fruit, just for you, Gatsby. Do you remember dragon fruit? Dragon fruit's good for dogs. Look at that. Ooh! Very, very mildly sweet melon, I would say. So you can just smash this eggshell. It actually has really high calcium. Strawberry here, some blueberries. So we have this green tripe chip. We gotta go to our herb garden. Basil, oh, we can get some mint. So much more aromatic that way. I'm gonna add some turmeric powder. Okay. Okay, there it is. Oh, we got our chicken, beef, mince, organic basil and mint. We have our green tripe, turmeric, radish, cucumber, and a fig. Oh, yes. What a good boy! He's not the biggest fan of strawberries usually. <laughs> what will Gatsby leave? I feel like he's gonna leave the cucumber. And he ate the quail egg. And he might, and I think he'll eventually eat the strawberry. And he's gone. <laughs> he ate one radish. I think he liked it. Did you like the food? You did? Fancy gourmet meal, my gosh. Huh, Gatsby? I hope you guys enjoyed that. Maybe not as much as Gatsby did. <laughs> I think it's time for us to start the vlog. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and Oh my goodness, Gatsby, it's so smoky outside. Can't even see anything. It's usually blue skies and clear and you can see the mountains from my apartment. Can't see anything. We have the air purifier running. So for those of you who don't know, Northern California got hit by like thousands of lightning strikes uh, this a few days ago. And that caused a lot of fires to occur. The air quality is really bad right now. We are going to be spending today in Doors, Gatsby. But we still have a great vlog plan for you. I'll be cooking some noodles, yeah? I'm gonna try out this ice cream taco place with my friends that I've been wanting. And Gatsby, you're gonna have your friend come over. Yeah? He's like, what? Gatsby, I bought you a new bed. It comes in here. Okay? It's for a project that we're gonna work on, but you can try it out right now. Wanna try? Yay! He's 
have. He's like, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da! Okay, it's time for us to play another ukulele song. Can you guess what movie this one is from? Here it goes. Tacos. Look who's there. <laughs> it's Corby Corgi. Long functions for doggies. They're free. Low fat, low sugar. Organic treats for your pup. using cream with dark chocolate dip. Mint, chocolate, dark chocolate, and Oreo bites. Mmm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Ice cream taco. Mmm. -hmm. It's so crunchy. Gatsby, we got you bonbons from Rocco's and some ducky chips. It's a bonbon. What is it? This is Gatsby's trick. Love and affection. <laughs> Try teaching Corby Heel. I don't think he gets it. Corby Heel. Yeah. <laughs> Gatsby's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Corby. And now it's time for a <gasps> puzzle update. Ta da! Look at that. We got all of Tempe and all of Gatsby done. Woo! Here's what the final picture will look like. I think I'm gonna next work on the flowers, the red flowers and the pink flowers. I took about seven hours. I would say that so far, this is the easiest puzzle out of all the puzzles that I had. Anyway, I have some news on the puzzle restock. The fruit fantasy puzzle that everybody wanted that sold out in like one hour is restocked, yeah! you guys. Now you have a new puzzle right over here, especially right now when you're supposed to be staying indoors. And what better way than to do a Gatsby Corgi puzzle because you have a Corgi smiling at you the entire time while you're doing it. If you missed your chance last time to get the fruit fantasy puzzle, make sure to grab one before it runs out this time. By the way, that's not the only thing we're gonna be releasing. A lot of you guys had requested that I release Gatsby face masks. This is the prototype. But check it out. Right here, it has a paisley print. We have 
the different corgis over here. It's really downplayed. I wanted, I didn't want something that was like super loud because I felt like a little too embarrassed to wear it out in public. But something like this is really cool. You have the adjustable ear loops so you can adjust it. These are gonna be coming out hopefully by next week. They will be coming both in adult as well as youth sizes. Also, I wanted to mention that the lost tie-dye t-shirts, they were finally found. Oh my gosh, so much merchandise. I'm so sorry about that. I actually had planned to have the puzzle restock as well as the masks and the tie-dye t-shirts all released at the same time. But due to the current situations, everyone's shipping things at all random times. That's why it seems like I'm releasing a new product like every single vlog. It's because they were all supposed to be released at the same time, but that just ended up not happening right now. On top of that, Gatsby and I want to thank these awesome fans right over here. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah? Thank you so much, you guys. Make sure when you get your merchandise, tag us, hashtag Corgi on Fleek. Thank you, you guys. It's so crazy. It's aquarium update time. We got the snails eating the algae on the glass. The fishies are swimming around. The coral is doing pretty well, although that one's getting kind of invasive. And the toadstool is still getting too big. And other than that, that's it. Thanks for updating us on the aquarium. It is time for me to make my own dinner now. So today I thought I would just make something simple. Um, my parents had sent me this Heinemann noodle from uh, Costco, I think. It's kind of like ramen noodles, but without the soup. And I've never had it before, so we'll see how good it is. I'm gonna garnish it with some of the chicken, the ground chicken that um, is left over from Gatsby's raw food. And I have some bok choy too. With the ground chicken, I'm gonna add some garlic. We don't really need to season the chicken too much just because the sauce is gonna be really strong. Just use some olive oil. So I'm just gonna break up the pieces of chicken. I'm gonna push the chicken a little bit to the side. So push it to the side. I'm gonna drizzle some soy sauce. We're gonna boil the noodles. Cook noodles in boiling water for two minutes. Yeah, these noodles are like really thin. Bring them out. Add the sauce. Sauce packet, this should be like really strong. Original flavor. I don't really know what that is, but <laughs> it smells like like slightly vinegary soy sauce. Choy out chicken. Put the green onions over the chicken. Not anywhere near as extravagant as Gatsby's meal, but still looks pretty good. Try it out. I'm gonna just try a little bit of the noodle by itself first so I can see the flavor what original flavor tastes like. Um, it's like a sesame oil, like slightly vinegary soy sauce flavor. It's really good, I like it. Um, the garlic and the soy sauce from the chicken, very good. Mm. I did a good job. I would add like chili oil maybe, um, but other than that, this is really good. I would give my creation like an eight out of 10. Looks like Gatsby's like, I like this bed. Everything looks so different from up here. It's a whole new world. Hi Gatsby, ow, ah! The pineapple, sir, the pineapple. Oh. You hurt the pineapple. Hey, okay, so I thought that we would play another game. Guess what song I play on the ukulele without having ever played it or thought of it or anything before. It's gonna sound horrible, but you gotta guess what song that is <laughs> without me knowing how to play it at all. Okay, here it goes. Okay, ready, sing.
Did you get it? <laughs> I, I think I did a pretty good job. That's become, I need a hug. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Well, it's time for us to go to bed. I am tired. Yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Hopefully all the merchandise will be out by then. Yeah, we've been working so hard, you guys. So much is going on. I've been so, so, so busy. I need to, I really need to take a break at some point. For those of you guys who know, you know what's going on right now. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Good night. So, I want to do a rematch, but not with watermelon. Can alone. <gasps> New fruit alert! Ryan is challenging.